What's up, everybody? This is East Bay Street. Sorry about the little hiatus there. Um, I just moved out of my old house. I'm a, I am a college student. I am in my last year of college, and I'm in my last house of my college career. So um, the last week, I've been literally moving in and out of my house, my friends' houses. I've been so busy, and I've wanted to record, but I seriously didn't have a desk until yesterday to start recording more videos. Uh, I was actually going to go buy a desk, and then I found one on the corner of the street that was perfect for my needs that someone was just throwing away. But if you see, I got a little different background here. Everything's gonna be changed too within the next few days. Um, but I'm, it's looking good. If you wanna check out my room real quick, we got just a little nice college room. I have a lot of posters and stuff um, that I need to hang up. And then over here, there's some art and there's a lot of Del Rey back there. <laughs> that my friend gave me. Um, but So sorry about the hiatus, I got a couple uh, messages from people and they were curious to what had happened, but that's that's it, I am back. So we're gonna start doing two episodes a day, hopefully, and I'm gonna start a new series, and I know the game I already picked out, so you guys should be excited for that. Um, but once again, I'm sorry about that. Let's go ahead and get back in though. I'm gonna check the time. I should have done this before, it's, okay, it's three, we're good. Um, that's perfect, so I can tell exactly when it in the video. Um, but I want to do two of these today, about 30 minutes each. So let's go ahead and read. It looks like we got a couple quests. More and more people these days are looking to darker powers to protect themselves from the prophecy of the Sky Eater. Some go as far as summoning unnameable terrors from demonic planes of existence. These demons can't always be properly controlled and often protect themselves with the use of demonic wa wards. If you can bring us some of these wards, maybe we can better understand their power and use it against them. So this is the five demon wards. Oh wait, we already had that quest. I just read the whole thing again. I feel like this happened last episode. It has been a while for me too, but I have not played Kingsway a minute longer than you have watched. So that's always good. Let's go ahead and open up a couple things. I remember we did get the new sword that we cannot currently equip due to it being, I think, 46, 47 required strength. All right, so the goal is let's go ahead and try and power level before we get to this. Um, I want to stay within range of a nice, um, like a guild and a place that has an end in case I'm close to dying. And then I want to go to the King's Castle and use this awesome Karimstone sword here that has amazing, amazing uh, uh, properties to it. Especially compared to the one I have now. It just has better damage, but all this has critical chance damage, damage to demons, and agility. So... That's going to be so exciting, but currently I'm only 42. We're going to need a couple levels to cover that. But right now it looks like we're at 97 health, 118 magic. I need to be very careful. Let's check if I have any health pots or anything. Does this have an N? Okay, this has an N. I'm going to try and make it there. Okay, let's run from this. We got all the beacons lit. Uh, a wander singer rock. They look scared. Approach. Has been injured and asked for your help. I'll give them a potion. Gain strength and thanks you. Cool. Uh, gives you 49 gold. Let's talk advice. You'll get better deals at shops. You have a good rip. I already knew that. It's cool. Let's go to the end here and just rest up. Only pay 8 gold. I just got 49 for using that one potion. So that was a really good deal actually. If you think about it. There we go. We're back to full. So let's just go ahead and... Go to these little spots that we haven't quite been to yet. Um, maybe there's um, some monsters there or something. Something we can get some uh, demonic wards from or some experience. Because I do want to get... I don't think I want to fight these these shadows though. Especially the, the ones with really high HP. Because they hit a lot. Come across the derelict house. Do you enter? Yes. Let's go to the side room. Nope. Attic. Shadow appears. Nursery. Unlock the chest. I don't have a key. In the hall. Nope. Nothing going to be there. Someone told me also in a message that apparently if you close out of things, it's better for random approaches. I don't really understand what they meant. I wish they would have went into detail, but you see some bandits. They look like they're up to no good. All right, this should be some good experience here. Let's just fight them. There's only two of them. Strong attack. We have a lot of mana. Oh, these are scary dudes. This dude has 348 HP. Nice. Oops, I accidentally blocked instead of attacking. Alright, let's do a strong attack. Strong attack, and then block. Yeah, because I stunned him. That was perfect. 
Now just hit him a couple more times. Block. Uh, he hit me before I got the block off. Oh shit, he hit me with a bomb. He got me again, this isn't looking too good right now. I'm just gonna do a greater heal, and then I'll block. Perfect. Let's just hit this dude down now. All right. 79 health. This should be some good experience from this fight. Might be able to get a level off it. Come on. Oh yeah, got the level, baby. Choose new skill. Someone told me vigilance is good in the comment, but I already got it. Uh, I, I don't think they watched my all the videos. Um, but right now we're using greater heal five, strong attack five. Um, let's just upgrade some passives then. This is a passive. Slightly increased damage when wielding a pole arm. We currently don't have a pole arm, and this is not going to be a pole arm, so let's not upgrade that. Um, also, someone was telling me that it would be a good idea to. Ooh, this. All right, let's think this through. This is going to be a little process here. So we have two new things: critical leech, a passive, and a stun. That's a passive. Temporarily stun an enemy whenever you inflict a critical hit. And then this, when you inflict a critical hit, gain health equal to 15% of the damage inflicted. Ooh, that's a good one right there. The reason, uh, now the reason this is good is because with this new weapon, we got um, critical damage and critical chance. So I have 10% crit chance there. Um, I also, let's see if we have any more. Critical damage, okay. See if how much crit chance we have. Not the most. We do have 10% right now. Potions heal more. No crit damage there. I don't think I already looked at this. Okay. Okay, so we have 10% crit chance. It wouldn't really be that effective. But I do think maybe it will come across more crit items. And maybe I'll change my warrior build around uh, to get a little bit more... Crit uh, but I think right now it's better to get critical leech due to the fact that t like I guess 10% of our hits might be a crit. We're going to get 15% of damage inflicted, so we'll hit hard with this new sword and we'll get a lot back. I think that'll be better than stun, especially since our strong attack already has a little stun to it. So I'm going to use that. So now we have a new little skill here, which is great. And it says I still have one more. I guess I can upgrade it one more time. Crit leech. No, I can't. That's fine. It still says I have one. I guess I can learn them both since you can't upgrade. So I'm just going to learn both crit chance and crit stun. Sweet. Great. Now, obviously, we're going to go for strength here. We're at 45. We need 47. Just one more level here. And then we can go into the king's castle. And I keep getting comments. Don't do this ending, don't do this ending. But I don't even know what the endings are. Like, I have, I've I've played this game as much as y'all have watched, so I don't know any of the endings. But um, I do plan on doing, like, a second season where after whatever happens at this ending, I want to create a new build and create a new character and try, like, a different ending. Because I guess there's, like, I guess there's more than one ending to this game. Um, sorry I keep looking this way, too. I've noticed the camera's here, and I'm looking at myself on OBS like I'm talking to somebody. Um, so... That might happen a couple times. Also, I got a new chair, so if my like posture is weird, I gotta kind of just figure out the height that I want. And I don't know if it's the most comfortable uh, right now, but let's get back to the game. They defeated some bandits, got the treasure. We got a broadsword and orb. Nothing real too good. Nah, I don't want any of that. Don't need that. We'll just go ahead and leave. We'll take the experience. Since we got the level, we also got the health and the magic back up over here. Oh, I'll put the log down here too. Um, and currently we need, it looks like, 4,000, about 700 experience or so. And I'll, oh, we got a cup ring of haste from the other dude. A lot of movement speed. That's a good ring to actually keep on to, just due to the fact that we might need movement speed. Go ahead and start going this way. Um, hooded figure in the distance, they look curious. Is holding some treasure and doesn't notice you. He will sell you the mysterious item. Well, let's see how much, let's see how much gold we have. 443, I'll go ahead and buy it. The mighty crystal staff of fury. 
Let's see if my other bags have any weight, any room. We got this Morb's Helm. Let's see what the difference between these two is. I can't really remember. Hmm. I definitely think this one's still probably better overall. But the Morb's Helm... Ooh. So this is good against bosses, so that's why I put it on, probably. Um... Yeah, this actually is probably might be a better helm overall. Let's go ahead and try and put it on. Just see what the stats change to. The strength goes up. Our strength is now 48. Does that mean we can put on the weapon? Since, yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Heck yeah. We got a new skill, Toss Boulder Baby. Let's check what that is. Let's go ahead and go to our skills here. We got Toss Boulder 1. So that means we can upgrade it, it looks like, right? Toss boulder three. Okay, so it's already it just cut off. Okay, attack speed is slow. Hit the target with a boulder, inflicting twenty damage and briefly stunning them. And it costs two magic. That just doesn't seem very good, honestly, because I know that my strong attack full, my strong attack five costs two and deals a lot more damage than twenty eight. So I don't really think I'm going to be using that too often, but that's okay. Let's check the stats on this. 4 strength, 7 attack speed, heal 3. Might as well keep it. Might as well, right? Let's see if we have any extra space. What is the weight? 3. Yep, put it right in there. And I'll close out of this. Alright, let's talk rumors this time. Hood Figure says, I've heard stories of strange altars in the dungeons below the graveyard. Some say there's a source of great power, but be careful associating with forbidden magic. Alright, heard. I ain't gonna fuck with that. No, thank you. We can't go to that. Let's just go ahead and go to this one. The ones with question mark. Oh, that's a scary one. 378? Are they getting stronger? Holy. F uh, there's another wander approaching. They look harmless. Let's approach. Wander greets you. Would like to talk. Okay, just rumors. The shadow is coming. Great. What is this? Stone Ark. Whoa, I don't remember there being a stone arc. The Sky Eater is close. Oh, fuck. There's another wanderer crossing your path. They look scared. Okay, I'm scared right now. This is the Sky Eater is close. Does this mean I need to get away from the outside or like go like to the King's Castle now? Like now that I have the weapon, I might as well just go. So I'm just going to avoid this person right now. Let's go to the King's Castle as soon as possible. Try and beat this. Hooded figure in a the distance, they look harmless. The hooded figure greets you. Caesar Hyrule, oh, yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Uh, let's talk rumors. Those eerie models showed up a few months ago. I've already heard that one before. Let's go to the King's Castle. Let's just let's do this, dudes. Oh shit. I hate these stupid fucking Alright. You see the King's Castle, it's all the quiet, nothing grows on the near on the ground nearby. With the three guardian be beacons lit, the gate opens before you. All right, we're in the king's castle. I don't even know if I have that many potions or anything at all. And I don't have that much space. But I'm just getting scared from the fact. Worst case scenario, I can just throw shit away, right? All right, I don't know which way I should go. I'll go right, because I see a little candle here. That's what's persuading me to go this way. <laughs> um... You know what I'm also going to do right now? I just got this, and it gives me 18 movement speed, which is a lot. And I'm going to put that on... I would like to put that on the, the attack speed one that we have right here. Just because I want to try and get out of... I don't want to have to fight that many things through this dungeon. Because just in case there's a boss, I need my health, I need my magic. Oh, shit. Try to escape. Okay, good, I got... Avoid, avoid, avoid! Alright, there's a chest here. I don't have keys. Let's go to it. Oh, shit. Let's stun him. Ah. It's cool. We just... We got him. Mighty Ring of Wrath. 11 crit, 7 strength. Ooh, that's good. We got more crit damage. That might be a good uh, thing to keep on to. I'll put that in here. Might want to put it on, on the boss fight. I'll have to look around. I don't have a chest. It's totally fine. I don't need keys right now. 
I don't think I'm gonna get many upgrades from like let's be real from my upgrades that I have now are from bosses and big battles so they're not really from chests let's stun this dude critical hit there we go baby nothing avoiding all these I don't need to go there because it's just treasure but let's go up here Go a little further. Um, just gonna run. Statue guardian, avoid, avoid, avoid. Ooh, man, these are coming everywhere. They're very easy to avoid, though. Honestly, avoid, avoid, avoid. Our move speed is really fast right now. All right. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Remember at one point, I put a lot of my stuff into a certain backpack. Okay, here's my potions. So I don't have that many at all. I have no potions, and I have one... And I have antidotes and van, um, invisibility pots, but I don't have any mana or health. Unless... I'm just forgetting. Yeah, no. That's not looking good. But I do have a way crystal that I can get out of here in case something happens. I'm just going to keep escaping. Alright, looks like there's a way to get out of the castle. Um, I'm just going to keep going. Running through these dudes like they're nothing. So easy to escape on this game. Let's be real. I don't know what this is. Floor one. Oh, there's second floor to the castle, it looks like. Go down? Of course. All right, guys, this is getting fun. Uh, we're super strong. I need to use a health. When I get into a battle, I definitely need to use my uh, heal. All right, I can't get these chests because I don't have keys. I should have came more prepared, but I just want to... I'm nervous about the shadow. I can maybe come back. I don't know what's going to happen. What is this? A throne. All right, guys. This is super scary. Just due to the fact I have no, I have nothing. I can fight the dude. I can use my, I can save my stuff for heals. So I have twenty four. Let's think. Each heal costs five magic. Let's see, let's just double, double check. Greater heal, ten magic points. Jesus Christ, this is not looking good. It's not looking good, guys. I'm just nervous that I'm going to get into a fight and and not win it due to the fact that I just don't have potions. But I do... Hmm. What's my XP? I'm still far from a level, so I can't just try and get a level real quick. Let's scrounge you. Chance to find a bit of gold from traveling. Hmm. Let's just double check all my bags. Teleport to the nearest fort. That's a good thing I could have used the whole game, but I haven't. <laughs> um, this is sketchy. Dude, part of me does not want to go to this freaking King's Castle, dude, just because I am nervous I'm going to die. Like, just, that's a fair, that's, that's being very fair. Is there a way I can escape a battle? Can I can I try? Okay, if I can't beat the guy, can I just run from him? Maybe I can use... Um, I can keep my bag open, ready for my invisibility pots, which is my backpack. Maybe I can just use an invisibility pot. Um, no, that's not the one I want. The smoke bomb. Maybe I can try and use that smoke bomb. Because I feel like there's going to be a boss here. This is sketchy. All right. All right, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to the battle. I'm going to try and fight this, whatever it is. Hopefully it's a person, or if not, I've just been worrying for nothing. If, worst case scenario, I start losing, I try and heal, and I try and get a smoke bomb and try and get out of there. Um, but I'm going to make sure I use an attack potion very beginning of this. You approach the king's throne, the king sits stiff and frail. He looks at you and lets out a short sigh. A knight next to him in full armor speaks for him. 
You have proven yourself to be the strongest outsider. If you believe you're a stalwart enough to fill it brother, then show me your power. Alright, attack. Oh shit. Use. Alright, let's beat this dude. Holy shit, y'all. Alright, we're getting this. As long as they block, he doesn't really hit me that much. Let's see if I can strong attack. Oh no. Oh no. This is not looking good. No, this is looking good. I forgot to put on my other ring. Alright, yo. This is so scary. Oh no! I used uh, the wrong attack. Shit. Got him. Alright, that was so bad. Holy fuck. For one... I forgot to use my other ring so I can get extra, sh like, <laughs> like, look at this. Seven strength, 11 crit chance. I did not use that ring. That's so bad. I used an ability with zero uh, magic left. Also, I could have saved uh, 10 instead of using, well, I think using strength attacks honestly helped a lot more than me gaining health. I don't know, man. I'm kind of shaking right now. But the King's Guard attacked me. I beat him. Let's loot this dude. Crescent Potion, Full Potion, Royal Disc. Okay, this is sketchy as shit. Does this mean it heals all my health, but I don't have any mana left? Am I going to have to fucking use this shit? That's, that's exactly what's going to happen. The Royal Disc. Let's see if this is good. Three Intelligence, three Vitality, three Strength, three Agility. Alright. Let's see this real quick. I'm using my brain real quick just to see. All right, we're good. I'm going to use Crescent Potion. Grants one stat bonus. I'm going to use Vitality. Gives a little bit more health for this next fight. I guarantee we're going to have to fight somebody. How much weight is this? Seven. Okay. So let's go in my other bag. Just put it in here. Yeah, that works. All right, leave and continue. Your health is critically low. I know it is, dude. The king glad there might be hope after all. A layer of dust falls from king as he lifts himself from the throne. Using a large staff to hold himself up, the king mutters an incantation and looks to his side. A portal opens beside him with a flash of light and a dark aura. The king sits back down on his throne and points toward the portal. He says nothing. In front of you is a blue portal as you approach the king speaks. This portal will take you inside the body of the Sky Eater. I only have the power to send one person through, so it's up to you now. Find a way to destroy the Sky Eater from the inside. Holy crap. <laughs> Enter the portal. I don't have... Uh, how close am I? I'm not... I don't have any health. This is some scary shit. Should I just go, and then if I get into a battle, like, should I use the health pot now? How about this? I'll use, I'll use an invisibility potion. This is not looking good. I have no mana. Alright, I'm going to try and use this. Try and make my way downtown. Making my way downtown. I wonder if those chests before the boss battle had like potions and stuff in them. If I had keys. <sighs> All right, this is so sketchy. Wonder if I can leave the portal and come back. Nope, <laughs> I'm fucked. Dude, I don't know if I can get through this. This is so scary. Part of me wants to like try and use, see if I can use a way crystal. 
You can't use that here? Alright, it won't let me, dude. This is so sketchy. I am probably screwed. What is this? An alien. It's the heart of the alien. Ah, oh, dude, this might be the end, dude, for me. I'm gonna have to use this full... Well, the only way I'm gonna do this is use this full potion. And then attack, attack. Oh, I have six magic now. I'm regening. Holy crap. Is, that the way, is this the way it's gonna work? I can regen my magic from going back and forth. And then I can... That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Use and... Okay. You know what? This is going to be the end of episode. This is going to be such a cliffhanger. Y'all going to have to watch the next one. End of episode 9 here. Um, I'm going to start episode 10 right away. My goal is to just go back and forth until I get full magic and then just use the health pot and then fight the final boss if there is one. I have no idea. This is all just me not wanting to die because I, I have a feeling in this game if you die, it's like game over. I swear to you, I do not know the answer to that. Maybe you respond. I have no idea, but... Thanks for watching episode eight, everybody. This is East Bay Street or Tanner. Sorry about the delay on this episode, but I am back. And I'm sorry about the audio quality too. I know this is a little late in the video to say this, but I am gonna order a Blue Yeti um, microphone and it's gonna be awesome. So thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed and see y'all later next episode.